Hey guys, just wanted to show you what I've been working on. I have gotten back into my free energy from air device um, based on Tesla's uh, patented information. Um, a variation of it. Uh, as you can see, I'm generating about 16 volts right now. Fluctuates between 15 and 16 right now. I just basically started playing with this and it's at its probably lowest point. Um, I'm using what I was using before, a couple sheets of tin foil. I've got about four sheets right now. And it's incredible what you can do with this thing if you just tune it correctly. Right now it's not tuned. I've just started um, playing with it. And the current's really low right now because I haven't um, started duplicating the effect. I only have one circuit hooked up right now. Uh, but it's, you know, it'll light a LED sort of thing, I'll show you that right now, and I just hooked it up, so uh, here's just an LED, I'll hook it up on the positive and the negative that are coming out of the circuit, and it should uh, light up, and it, it stays lit, it doesn't flash, it just stays lit, so let's see if you can see that, of course I have to have the right way, Fully lit, nice and bright. Oops, there we go. Get a touch in there. And even with that, there's still like two and a half volts flowing through the system. It's flashing because I'm don't have full contact there. Anyways, pretty interesting. I'm really, uh, really excited about this again. I've been doing a lot of research and a lot of other tests that suggest I should be able to uh, get a couple hundred volts out of this. Um, and I'm pretty confident. Uh, I haven't added anything to it yet other than the tin foil, the circuit, um, ground comes out of the bottom. It's hard to see, it's very very thin wire and I'll show you that in uh, a minute where that goes. It basically just goes out my window and down to the ground and it's connected to a copper pole that's about three feet under. I will show you that shortly. Um, in the next few days I'm going to start adding what I had added before and tuning it. So there's a couple of my transformer slash resident rods. Some are single wound, some are bifiler, um, some have ferrite, some don't and I'll start adding those. Um, as you can see, this circuit's a little bit different. I've actually changed it a bit. I've uh, removed uh, one of the uh, disc capacitors from the top, and it seems to be working a little bit better. Anyway, stay tuned. Um, if you're interested in a schematic or something like that, um, I'll probably sell it to you, because that's the goal, to keep this funded. Um, and only probably at this time or shortly thereafter. Once I start getting into the couple hundred of volts, I probably won't be selling it anymore. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. Again, right now we're, we're let's climb back up to 16. That's it, pretty cool. All right, so here's a shot of my grounding rod. It is, I think it's uh, about a four foot piece of just copper pipe. I have jammed in the ground. It's about uh, three feet in the ground or so, three and a bit. Uh, nothing special, just hammered it into the ground and stuck a, I think it's like 28 gauge, 29 gauge uh, enamel copper wire on it. And that runs up to the um, circuit, so the ground goes into the circuit and then uh, goes into the aluminum foil that I have. Uh, this thing works great. Um, here's a shot. So my actual my actual line, I don't know if you can see it, um, goes right up to the third window, which is about 25 feet. And then goes into the circuit. So yeah, that's basically it for the grounding rod. I have tried another one, but it didn't work as well. That one was just uh, uh, nickel, I think, nickel plated. 
Uh, the uh, the uh, copper one definitely works better.